Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have a reading for you guys and uh, mm -hmm, hope you guys are all well. And before we begin Capricorn, uh, if you would like your own psychic reading with me, click on the calendar link below. I also have tarot readings. I always recommend the combination because they're a lot of fun and not only are they a lot of fun, but uh, you get different insight from each type of reading and we do them on the phone. They're very personal and you know, we're connecting. It's, it's just fun, right? So let's see what else we have. And, uh, yeah, if you want a reading, a free five, five minutes, I could read, you can get one of those with mystic sense. That link is also below and let's begin, right? And we have a lot of, uh, naked women here, Capricorn, and they, uh, these naked women have me uh, continually shutting this camera off because of uh, the family rules here on, uh, YouTube, right? So, you know, here we have the Woodward and, uh, no Capricorn, he is not Squidward, right? And this talks about somebody who, uh, finds, finds courage to leave a, a, a place of crisis or a relationship of crisis, uh, knowing that it cannot be resolved. Yeah. And it's like, uh, that's exactly what this is about. Uh, this is facing unavoidable truths like, Hey, I can't stick around and fix this. So it's time for me to move forward. This is maturity and wisdom. That's why they call him the Woodward instead of Squidward, right? Because of the W for wisdom. <laughs> we have good luck here and, uh, yeah. And someone's coming here and, uh, this is protected. And this Woodward also talks about knowing that something is protected. Yeah, this is, uh, this is somebody who, uh, is standing in their divine wisdom. Yeah, it is. And so we also have these two women here and one of them is a mermaid, but she's stuck in this globe, right? This water globe, uh, underneath the sea. And, you know, uh, a mermaid is, uh, the epitome of freedom, right? Freedom, inspiration, because she is of the water nature, uh, yeah. And like creativity as well and love and all these things. Right. Uh, and so, but she's in the globe and she's not supposed to be in the globe, but she has hope. And she's because, uh, she's looking right here at the, uh, the globe. Yeah. The globe is underneath the sea. It's interesting how they have merged underneath the sea with, uh, kind of like with the forest here, it looks like because of the trees, but She's uh, looking up at the dove for hope and inspiration. She's going to remove herself from the globe and swim away to have her freedom and to live a beautiful life as a mermaid with somebody else. Yeah, with a man mermaid, uh, Capricorn, uh, or maybe another mermaid. It doesn't matter, but she's coming for her partner is my whole point, right? Yeah, she is. And here is the other woman who is you know, I'm not really going to cover her too much. Well, she's a side view and she doesn't have all her clothes on, but you know, she's on this kind of uh, table here. It's like an altar table. And, uh, you know, here's another dove here for hope, but she's tied up. Somebody is breaking chains here. Yeah, they are. And they're doing it because of their devotion to you, Capricorn. And not only that, but Mirabai is, uh, Mirabai was in an arranged marriage with, uh, some really terrible in-laws and, you know, uh, so she ran away. This is a story of running away. And, you know, although she didn't have anybody to run to, this is self-devotion, like for her sanity, you know, they tried to kill her because they knew she wasn't going to, uh, like comply. Right. So, you know, she said, let me run away. I don't want to play my little Indian lute. I don't know the name of the Indian lute. No, I don't. And, you know, uh, forgive me for that. But uh, the point about Mirabai is that she said, I want to go live a life of creativity and love and fun. And, you know, they tried to burn the palace where she lived. Now, I don't know if somebody tried to actually do that, but this is running away from something Mirabai knew. I can't fix it. These people are crazy. I can't, you know, maybe there is somebody here nutty, but, you know, but... It doesn't have to be that extreme, but it is definitely somebody who is breaking these. This is, this woman is all strung up here. Uh, yeah. And she wants to leave, but she can't. And this other mermaid is stuck in the, in the globe. She can't leave either. Now that we see Mirabai finds the way out. Yeah. Mirabai was a trendsetter. I would have been Mirabai's friend for sure. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> because she didn't care about the rules. She said, these are rules that man made. These are not rules of the universe. These are not rules of love and community and sharing. No, these are man-made laws 
that uh, are against me and my own, against me and my, my journey, my life, for sure. She said, I'm, I'm out of here, right? These laws, uh, and you know, they may be uh, legal, but they are definitely not lawful under God's eyes. No, they're not, right? And so here's trickery. And so somebody has to leave here by way of trickery. Otherwise, they're going to stay in the globe stuck up here or you know they might get burned at the palace and you know here's the strings here the ropes right they're not strings uh otherwise they're gonna have to stay in a terrible situation <laughs> they are so they said you know what there's only one way out and mirabai did sneak away she had no choice somebody has no choice here but to like <laughs> like just run escape yeah they do and here's uh agatha christie right who uh you know, mm -hmm. I wonder if her Mercury is in Scorpio because these, uh, mine is, and this is, uh, it can be an energy where you write about like thrillers or trickery or things that can't be figured out or seen. Yeah. Uh, secrets and just stuff like that. So let's get into it Capricorn because, uh, this, I feel like this is a fun reading, uh, so far. Yeah. And it's like, it's like a who done it, who stole my baby, right? Uh, <laughs> and I don't believe somebody stole, I do actually believe somebody was stolen, but, uh, I feel like they could have been stolen because somebody else was keeping somebody else kind of in a prison or a coffin or just something where, yeah, something awful. Let's see what we have here. Uh, and we start with the King of Swords. Maybe somebody is an air sign. They could be, and let's see what we have. Today we're using a different deck altogether. We are. We have to be careful because there's a lot of uh, people here who are standing their power, right? And, you know, they don't care about their birthday suit. No, they don't because they're too busy being enlightened, right? And, yeah, raising their higher consciousness. That's what this deck, uh, that's what all these decks are about, basically, right? Oh, we have a lot of reversals here. Really interesting here. Mm-hmm. So... Capricorn, we start with the King of Swords and he's grabbing the sword for a decision or, you know, uh, maybe to behead somebody. No, we don't want anybody beheaded here. We don't because maybe you just got your hair done, right? You could have got your highlights in. <laughs> and so we definitely need your head, right? But, uh, you know, he's grabbing the sword for a decision. This is what the King of Swords does. And, uh, you know, this is an ending though. This is a forced ending here. This is like, hey, I got to get out of town here. Get out of Dodge or whatever creepy town somebody might live in here. And this is all allegorical or kind of symbolical. But I feel like you guys are uh, completely getting that. The Four of Pentacles reversed. Mm -hmm. This is a letting go. And here's somebody making this choice here. Seven of Cups. He's got his eyes covered. Yeah, the cups are empty. I've already made the choice. And I hope everything is okay when it's all done, right? Uh, when I move, when I run away from the palace or the prison or just get out of Dodge, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. when I finally flee. Yeah, there's definitely a fleeing in this situation. Yeah, we're not talking about the kind that bite you uh, because your cat has fleas. No, uh, but somebody could have been a bothersome kind of uh, insect type of person here. <laughs> they could have been. <laughs> and so the queen of cups shows up in the past and this is fun and compassion it can be uh and i feel like somebody here capricorn uh feels very compassionate towards you uh or maybe playful right mm -hmm. and we see that decision and love has been made here we do right yeah mm -hmm. this person may definitely be devoted to you but you know the whole thing about mirabai is that she, this is self-devotion. I have to run away or I'll die. That's really what it was. The fool is the mindset in this reading. So there is a, a new adventure being taken here, but first somebody has to like escape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now this forced ending is some type of kind of a force that, yeah, that has to be induced <laughs> like i have to do this and i have to do it this particular way with some type of trickery or yeah and it, this is so desperate that 
Somebody has to like lie to somebody why they're kind of leaving. It does look like that. Or they have to devise some type of a plan to maybe make it look like they're not leaving for somebody else. And yeah, this is a, this is like an intricate plan going on. It really is. And, uh, we have the death card and this shows up in the near future. This is something's ending, right? We know that five of swords shows up in the concern, and this is a victory and a defeat. And this can also be a short lived victory. Like something's it's just over and you know, uh, maybe it was a short lived victory, but, uh, it could be a short lived victory in terms of something a little deeper where, gee, I thought it was going to last forever. And now that I'm here, I'm like, good God, I can't leave fast enough. Right. Yeah, and so that it could be that type of a victory. Let's get a card, Capricorn, on uh, the concern here, right? It could be your person's concern, the Queen of Wands with it. She wants to live. Mirabai uh, could have been maybe a Queen of Wands because the Queen of Wands wants to live. The most important thing to her is inspiration uh, and really kind of independence. Now, she doesn't have to live alone. But she doesn't want somebody encroaching on her creative projects or like her beliefs. And, you know, yeah, we can be together for sure. But, you know, don't fence me in. And that's who, and we have the courage card. And here is the lion. So this is courage to strike back at somebody because this, uh, this strength card, uh, she's not petting him. He's going to, he's going to claw her and bite her, right? She's down on her knees here. Yeah. And so that's what's going on here. And Mirabai got real mad in this reading, right? I feel like she did, or maybe it was Agatha Christie or the Woodward, right? And so the Eight of Wands shows up in the environment with uh, the Knight of Cups reversed here. Mm -hmm. And this Knight of Cups uh, is the regular Knight, bringing the Cup of Love, but in the reverse, this is like a breakup or removing the Cup or taking it back or the Eight of Wands is reversed. This is... Uh, in yours or your person's environment. And what it means here is that uh, some of this is like a breakup here and uh, change can only happen when this breakup, uh, it can talk about that. It can, this could be a possible implication here, but it can also be here that uh, there is change here and it is very unfavorable for somebody. Yeah. And you know, uh, this can also be like, you know, somebody felt blocked here in their life. This is why they're kind of, you know, escaping out the palace door, right? Yeah. You, maybe you were hiding under this table, Capricorn, because before you escaped, right? And I feel like this could be your person escaping, but, uh, you know, and here's Agatha Christie and, you know, she's a little funny here, right? Uh, she was some type of a literary genius, right? I feel like she was, she wrote all these whodunits, I mean, I don't like those shows because they have an English accent and no digs on uh, the English, but I'm just not accustomed, right? It's like anything, right? Yeah, and I'm a singer too, so the voice thing is, you know, it's just as important to me. Uh, and of course, I respect the English, right? And so here's the clock and, you know, it's midnight, but it really says 10. <laughs> and, you know, here is the knife and it's in the potato or the whatever and, you know, the blood's dripping here. Uh, she looks like she has some type of a, a collar possibly. Mm -hmm. And then she has this kind of a uh, potion here. Uh, and you know, she's drinking something here and, uh, yeah. And this is something's going on here when the blood is kind of falling on the ground. Right. Yeah. And so, uh, but your hope Cap Capricorn 10 of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, you're hoping or your desire that, you know, this can, it doesn't always have to be a hope or a desire, but there's, I feel like there's a completion here and it is, it is a very much needed one for somebody to have their sanity. It looks like, yeah. And somebody to break out of some type of a prison or, you know, where they feel kind of fenced in, uh, and they definitely feel like they're giving up their rights because that's what Mirabai felt. I'm giving up all my rights here. I don't have any rights. I'm just, I'm being told what to do here or, or I can't be myself. I can't breathe. Something like that here. Mm -hmm. Here's the moon here. Yeah. Yeah. And this is showing up in, uh, yeah. And I feel like you want this cycle to end because the moon is about cycles. It's also interesting that the moon here, although they say, you know, some people can say that there's darkness, right? Of course, because there can be secrets with the moon. There can, right? There can be, a, there can be illusions because when we think of the moon at night, 
uh, you know, uh, it can, there can be mystery, of course. That's why, you know, we show the moon at night in movies and, you know, the dogs howling or whatever. But, you know, the moon is also a time of illumination. The full moon is. This is shown as a full moon here, I believe. So the moon is a time of romance and a new cycle. And it can be taking action. Yeah, and, you know, kind of upheaval and things like that. And wanting to move towards something new. And the Ten of Pentacles is reversed here with it. This is you definitely uh, a cycle that will be ending here. Yeah, in order for something more, uh, something more uh, desired and healthier to come into play. Yeah, and uh, something far more profound to take place. And to move out of some type of major dysfunction and a lack of freedom and joy. Yeah. Here we have the four of cups reversed here. And, uh, mm -hmm, this is a uh, definite, uh, this talks about also moving away from something that is not like that. There is nothing to enjoy because he's indulging here with these cups in this particular deck. And in the reverse, there's nothing left. It's dry. And we know that with Mirabai and, uh, the woman, who is, uh, in these, she's here stuck in these, uh, these, you know, these ropes. And here is, uh, the mermaid who is stuck in the globe. And we know she's not supposed to, she's supposed to be swimming the sea freely, right? Yeah. And let's see what else we have. We have the ace of wands. Yeah. And this is reaching for a brand new beginning in love and, a, and, a, and a very, uh, inspirational one. There's so much lack of, so much lack of inspiration, uh, and where the Woodward is, you know, moving, he has the courage to move out of that. And he understands that, uh, that there's nothing he can fix where, wherever he has lived. Your person's first card, uh, for the other reading, uh, Capricorn is this warrior woman. And, uh, she is dressed for a new beginning, uh, because you can tell, and her, her, her wings here are, uh, her wings are open. I'm going to fly. And also they are kind of, uh, they're kind of like spokes or they're, they're sharp. So she says, move out of the way. I'm going on my, I'm going on my journey no matter what. Right. Yeah. No matter what anybody says. And here are the birds are assisting her to get on the ship here and go on this journey. And that's what somebody is doing. This is your person, whoever they may be, right? Crossing them is the little details, the mushrooms. The mushrooms are the small details that they need to plan this escape. Here's the trickery card. And here is uh, Mirabai. We already know the story of her where she ran away from uh, the palace, right? She had to run away. Mirabai. Uh, if I, I would have helped her Capricorn, I would have, and, uh, I could just see me being Mirabai. Right. And so, <laughs> and she, uh, it's interesting how she took off her bra too. Right. She said, screw this. Right. There, right. And so the medicine woman is why it's all happening for your person. And your person is you, a divine healing power. They are a channel and they want to heal themselves from this kind of prison situation, whatever they were doing, right? We're going to end this. It'll be a 10 card Oracle. It is. This is an exciting reading here. I feel it's so deep, right? And yeah, and this is really going to happen for somebody. And these, uh, extendeds are all super affordable. The link is below in the description box. And, uh, we're going to have a tarot spread, a 10 card tarot spread. And, uh, yeah, I'm getting back to, uh, they're a little bit longer than they used to be, uh, right? Yeah, because, uh, we like to be really, uh, kind of, you know, uh, detailed in the story we do. Thank you so much. And this Mushrooms is about details, too. Thanks so much for joining me, you guys. If you would like to book a reading with me, please click on the calendar link below. Yeah, thanks so much. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.